Was well, that... he he had a nice base um, as a two-year-old. He had five starts. I'm going to tell you, I probably ran him one too many times as a two-year-old. If I could have done it over again, I would not have run him in the Breeders' Cup. I think we got, or I, you know, everything's my fault. You know, when they win and they lose, I, we got enticed because we were here locally and the horse was coming off a nice win. Um, we we probably should have spaced that race a little bit better. And he finished the year a little tired. Um, we gave him 60 days off, which I'll give credit to to um, True Baker, a veterinarian that works with Three Chimneys and, and that team over there. We gave him 60 days off and he came back like gangbusters. Um, if you had asked me uh, two weeks ago Friday if I had a horse for the Derby, I would have said no, probably not. But his race in the Lexington was powerful enough to justify bringing him on and I think he's set for a big one here. I would think you'd call him a fresh horse. I mean, um, he had the, the base of races last year mm. that you needed to build. He had the break to let him fill out some more. He needed to find another level from two to three. And uh, fingers crossed he has. I mean, he the, the favorite of Central Quality is a very, very good horse. And um, we didn't even get a sniff at him last year. He was so much better than everybody. But two to three is a different year. And, and it, Saturday's a different day. Of course, he's by Curlin. And he's out of a mare named Terrace. And Terrace got really good at four and five. So there's uh, a whole lot to say that even more time after this is going to be good for this colt. I think, I think this is just the beginning of what you're going to see from him. Right. And uh, crazy beautiful uh, work today. Get ready for the Oaks, and uh, yeah. feel like she's coming to the race really well. She's doing great. Um, that uh, bullet work she put in last weekend in 59 was um, much more than what we expected out of her. I mean, she's just doing that well. And we toned this weekend down a little bit. We didn't want her working quite that fast and we wanted her to to have a nice breeze but but not 59 she didn't need to do that and you said your exercise rider is pretty confident in her yeah yeah danny ramsey he's um he's uh, the, the eternal optimist and he he says she won't get beat i hope he's right <laughs>